Hi guys, so I have some books, lots of lovely books to show you. I apologise for my YouTube absence but hopefully a book haul will make up for it. Let's start with the birthday presents shall we? It's actually my birthday tomorrow the 23rd of March but we decided to do presents today for um, various reasons. Why not? It's my birthday. I can move it if I want. The first few books I've got are books I'm sure you've been seeing all over the internet and booktube this month and it is some of the Penguin Little Black Classics. Due to it being Penguin's 80th birthday they have brought out 80 books all at 80p. Some are extracts from longer books, some are poems, some are short stories or novellas, it just depends on what you pick up. And I received five from my parents and two from my wonderful friend Jill. The two I, the two I received from Jill are um, H.G. Wells's A Slip Under the Microscope, which is a novella, and Olala <laughs> by Robert Louis Stevenson, which is another novella. Then the ones I received from my parents include The Saga of Gunlang, Serpent Tongue, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, this is, um, I think, like an ancient Norse story. Scandinavian? Yep. Then Hans Christian Andersen's Tinderbox, which is a short story, a fairy tale, and actually inspired the book Tinder, which I read last month and really enjoyed. Then we have Goblin Market by Christina Rossetti, which are some poems, including Goblin Market. Gerard Manley Hopkins as Kingfisher's Catch Fire, which is again poetry, and it says on um, nature's glory and despair. And lastly, Three Tang Dynasty Poets, which again, poetry. I then also received a copy of um, the illustrated version of Cinderella by Charles Perrault, by, um, and that's illustrated by Camille Rose Garcia, and you may have seen before um, me feature her illustrated versions of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Snow White, which I just think are absolutely stunning, and I had to get this one as soon as it came out. I'll show you some of the inside, that's Cinderella fleeing the ball. It's even beautiful underneath the dust jacket as well. And then lastly for my birthday, I received Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen, and this is a vintage classics edition. I adore these editions of Jane Austen's work. They have another beautiful pattern on the flaps, the side, just, just gorgeous. And I am about 90 pages into this book or so, or 100 and something, I don't know. But um, I am absolutely in love with it. I've never read it before, and it just, I adore it. I have seen the film before, so I know the, the basic storyline, but um, it is all the better in written form. I then picked up a book for myself when I was shopping with a friend, and that is Robin Hobbs' The Inheritance, an anthology of tales from the six duchies and beyond. So, yeah. Um, a collection of stories I gather. This is a standalone book. Um, I've only read one of Robin Hobb's series in the past, which is the Rainworld Chronicles, but I absolutely adored it, and um, it'll be nice to read something that's just kind of complete in itself. And last but not least, I was very kindly sent two books. One was from the online book retailer, Abe Books, and they are a s online second-hand bookshop that um, allow people to sell um, vintage and second-hand books through them. That makes sense and um, for Mother's Day they asked if they could send me a book that I read with my mother as a child and I said of course. Um, unfortunately I wasn't able to film a whole Mother's Day video because I just have been unable to film this month but they sent me this gorgeous edition of Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milnes. Um, again my mum read this to me as a child and although that is kind of vague in my head I do remember the edition we had was white and contained the original illustrations, so if it was not this, it was very similar, and this edition is beautiful, so I am in no way disappointed. Um, that's what it looks like. The gorgeous map in there, and more lovely illustrations inside, and this is, um, I think, the complete Winnie the Pooh stories. And I actually have flicked through these, and um, as is my mum, since we got it in the post, and we were surprised by how readable it is still at this age, and I know at least she's definitely planning on reading this soon, and I'm sure I'll pick it up after her, because it was a lot of fun, and I think it is a sign of a good children's book that it can be enjoyed by an adult as well. And last but not least, I was sent this book by Headline Publishing, and it is the Iron Ghost by Jane Williams. So this is the sequel to The Copper Promise, which I've featured before. Um, it's an epic fantasy series. Again, though, this copy is so much bigger than the other one. They're going to look slightly odd on the bookshelves, but no matter. I love my epic fantasy. I love my mystical creatures and dragons and magic. And I look forward to getting into this series. But those are all the books I have to show you for now. If you have read any of them, let me know. Um, in particular, um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on any of the little um, 
Penguin Classics I showed you and if there's any in particular you want to pick up from the series I'd also like to hear about it because there are still 73 for me to check out and I'd love to hear your recommendations. But anywho, it is good to be back and I will hopefully see you all again very soon. Bye guys!